Hey guys, hi, welcome back once again. My name is Vaishali and today I'd like to talk about the thing about growth that nobody talks about. So as much as most of us like the idea of growth, very rarely we talk about the flip side of growth as well. Exactly like the two sides of the coin. And as we might know, growth and development are a process in a continuum. At times unconsciously and at times uncomfortably consciously. And now some of you might be wondering, why did I use the word uncomfortably consciously? Firstly, logically, because most of us, most of the times on an everyday basis are operating from our subconscious and our unconscious, things that we are not even aware about, things that have gotten imprinted on us over time, which we are not even aware of, but we recognize it as ourselves. Everything that defines the concept of I and myself. And secondly, I use the word uncomfortably consciously because it correlates and associates with the saying, growth happens outside of the comfort zone. And since our subconscious, which is 97 to 98% of us, likes to operate from the familiar, from the known, from the comfortable, getting comfortable with our discomfort is the most discomforting thing, which invariably implies that we all, on some level, need to be willing to embrace a certain level of discomfort, a certain level of unpleasantness, a certain level of displeasure, and even a certain level of uninhabiting our habituated self or the ideas of our habituated self if we need to experience if we want to experience growth. And thereby on some levels it might feel painful or painfully uncomfortable. So I'd like to take up an example here. Think of a little seed that's gradually growing into a tree. Is it not breaking the ground as its roots grow deeper and wider into the soil? Or we can even reframe our thought and call it groundbreaking as well. Does that still fundamentally change the concept that it is breaking the grounds? And breaking any kind of a ground has to be a little uncomfortable because it has to shift out of something that is perceived as normal. Now let's even imagine that it's growing between the boundaries of two and three houses. After a while we may begin to see the cracks on the wall or may even see a part of the wall being broken down or broken open. And as painful as it might be to either pull down the wall and rebuild a new one or to take down the tree, something has to give away. And somewhere that's how nature also tells us, that's how the balance sheet of life or the flow of life is maintained or best managed. For something new to come up, either something has to be brought down, something has to be re-edited, something needs to be changed, or something needs to be reorganized and restructured differently to how it had been structured up till now. And we may get some people who might be willing to collaborate on those, while as some others might not be willing participants. And likewise, as we begin to grow, have a little more insight at times, we will lose some relationships, or at least break away with the habituated way we related with them to create new ways, their new habits of re-relating with them. Or at times, just like the wall or the tree, something will need to be let go of. Something will need to be pulled down. And that always may not necessarily be pleasant and painless. And our subconscious and our unconscious, which constitutes 97 to 98% of us, which functions on the familiar, on the habituated, on the known, will be in resistance to that. And since 97 to 98% of us will be in resistance to the 2 or the 3% of us that is conscious, it will be uncomfortable. It will be an uncomfortable tug of war. And I'd like to take up another analogy over here. It's somewhat like the clothes that we had worn at one point in time, which do not fit us anymore. Or maybe it doesn't fit the way and feel the way that it did once. 
and similarly at times in the process of conscious yet uncomfortable intentional growth we may not fit into relating with people we have once been associated with in the familiar known habituated ways which leads us to the fork in the road what choice do we make for us is for us to choose for growth may not always be pleasant painless and without discomfort for growth may not be without that internal tug of war until we become aware of that exchange as to what we are willing to edit what we are willing to change for that exchange what we are willing to rebuild or bring down we will never know what aspects we need to look out for in the balance sheet of personal and thereby interpersonal growth as well let's try and become aware of this balance sheet of our lives in the process of growth personal growth which is also interpersonal let's try and really reflect on that let's try and write it down for ourselves and i will see you once again the next week till then stay tuned in and guys if you do like the contextual content of these videos please do like share and subscribe